I'm about to blow your mind. You have to check this out. Just announced today, OpenAI is finally going to compete in the text to video landscape. And they're releasing a model called Sora. Sora is an AI model that can create realistic and imaginative scenes from text instructions. In the background, it looks like a bunch of paper airplanes or arrows flying around a forest. It's about time they're releasing this model. And the craziest part is it can create videos up to one minute long while maintaining visual quality and adherence to the user's prompt. The other text to video models in the AI space, like Runway ML, is only capable of doing four seconds at a time. You need to keep adding four seconds on top of four seconds on top of four seconds. You get these really choppy long videos. It takes forever to make. It costs a lot of credits. Even the other option, which is Stable Diffusion XL. Again, two to four seconds with the API, and it's even more impossible to stitch those together yourself. That's what Runway ML is doing, and it's created an entire app around that concept, stitching together these four second videos. If you're not an expert coder, you're not gonna be able to do this. And now all of a sudden we have OpenAI releasing Sora, which can do up to a minute long. In the article released today, they're showing us a bunch of examples and they're making sure to tell us that all the videos on the page were generated directly by Sora and without modification. So these are real output results that we're getting. This is a woman walking in the streets of what looks like Tokyo. She's the main character. There's a bunch of people walking around in the background. This one is woolly mammoths running in the snow. This looks like an astronaut on a planet. It's wearing a wool hat. Then it shows him in the spaceship. This is a video of a mountainous landscape. Looks like there's a house on the cliff, waves crashing into the mountain. Here is a Pixar-like animation, a fluffy monster grabbing a candle. And at the bottom, it's showing what the prompt was for each of these video creations. This one, they wrote, an animated scene features a close-up of a short, fluffy monster kneeling beside a melting red candle. The art style is 3D and realistic with a focus on lighting and texture. And I clicked more and it's a bit longer, almost like the Dolly 3 prompts. This is an underwater scene, zooming in towards the fish and the corals. A weird looking bird, almost peacock-like. This one looks like two pirate ships sailing in a cup of coffee. That's unbelievable. And here is a man reading a book on what looks to be a cloud in the sky. Exactly what you want to hear, Sora is not available to the public yet. They're apparently releasing it to Red Teamers first. Red Teamers appear to be specific people that are assessing the harms and risks of AI video. And we know from all the Dolly 3 restrictions and the text generation restrictions that OpenAI is huge on moderation. So they're making sure this model is outputting safe content before releasing it to the public. It appears to be in the research stage still. Here are some more examples. This is historical footage of California during the gold rush. Really cool, looks like drone footage flying over this town. You got people riding horses. Here's a close-up of a small dwarf in a glass sphere. Extreme close-up of a 24-year-old's eye. It's cool that the eye is twitching just a tiny little bit. It looks like this person is focusing on something in the background. Here's a cartoon kangaroo disco dancing. I can definitely see how easy it's gonna to be to create animations with Sora. This is a homemade video of the people of Lagos, Nigeria in the year 2056. Now the people look a little funky, how they move, how they look, but it's definitely light years ahead of what we have now. This is a bamboo forest growing in a petri dish. We have a large stack of vintage televisions, each showing different types of programming and another 3D animation of a fluffy creature running in a forest. They say that Sora is able to generate complex scenes with multiple characters, specific types of motion, and accurate details of the subject and background. The model understands not only what the user has asked for in the prompt, but also how those things exist in the physical world. This is my favorite one. We're following a Hummer driving on a dirt road throughout a forest, this looks like a video game. This is reflections in the window of a train traveling through the Tokyo suburbs. 
This is drone camera footage of the Amalfi Coast. This one just gave me the shivers. This is an octopus underwater. It looks like it's fighting with another sea creature. Wow. Look how realistic this looks. Unbelievable. This is the one shown at the top. Yeah, it's a bunch of paper airplanes flowing through a dense jungle. Here is a cat waking up its owner. Here is some wildlife on a river and a Chinese Lunar New Year celebration video featuring a Chinese dragon. If you looked really quickly, you couldn't tell this was AI. But if you look really closely, you can find some hints like this guy does not look real. The way he's holding the stick, the way he's walking. The model has a deep understanding of language, enabling it to accurately interpret prompts and generate compelling characters that express vibrant emotions. Sora can also create multiple shots within a single generated video that accurately persists characters and visual style. And I think it shows that nicely in this Chinese New Year video. The coolest part is the length of these videos. So this one's 20 seconds and it doesn't break the scene. It slowly follows through. It slowly pans this museum and shows all of the art. And it's sticking with what's at the end here. It's getting closer. It's not changing anything. This is a beautiful snowy day in Tokyo. Here's a stop motion animation of a flower growing. This is a story of a robot in a cyberpunk setting. And it's going from scene to scene and keeping the same character but in different environments. This is an extreme close up of a man with a beard. This is a silhouette of a wolf howling at the moon. And this video is actually one minute long. And it goes from scene to scene. Look at the different scenes. A wolf running now. It's again howling. Now it's finding its pack and they're all howling together. The moon is kind of setting. Or the moon got bigger for a bit there. This is a minute long video. This is New York submerged in water. Oh, and this is so cute. A litter of golden retriever puppies playing in the snow. They say the current model has weaknesses. So it may struggle with accurately simulating the physics of a complex scene and may not understand specific instances of cause and effect. For example, a person might take a bite out of a cookie, but afterwards, the cookie may not have a bite mark. The model may also confuse spatial details of a prompt, for example, mixing up left and right, and may struggle with precise descriptions of events that take place over time, like following a specific camera trajectory. We for sure didn't have that problem in the Hummer scene. It followed the car so nicely. Here is a black and white scene of a person running on a treadmill. He's running backwards. I think this is showcasing one of the limitations. The AI model doesn't understand left and right. It should be facing this side of the treadmill. Here are a few wolves frolicking around. Look, there's only three in the scene right now. Now there's four, now there's five, now there's six. They're almost like being born into the scene. Here is a basketball flying through a basketball hoop and then exploding. But as soon as it goes down, it explodes, but there's a new ball right there. Here are some archaeologists finding a chair in the sand. Now they're dusting it off, but look, it just turns into a chair. So the physics aren't quite right on some of these scenes. I bet you're still watching and thinking, man, this is unbelievable still. Now the chair is walking by itself. And here's a grandmother blowing out candles on a birthday cake. Let's see what happens when she blows, blows the candles, nothing happens. Again, they talk about safety. They're working with red teamers. They're trying to combat misinformation, hateful content, and bias. They're also trying to detect misleading content. And then a detection classifier that can tell when a video was generated by Sora. They also want to include metadata in the future. So when you download a video, it has that in the metadata. Therefore, businesses, people, they can always check the metadata and see, hey, this was generated by AI. All these new techniques will prepare for deployment. They're also leveraging existing safety methods that were used for DALI 3. And one of those methods is rejecting text input prompts that are in violation of the usage policies. So extreme violence, sexual content, hateful imagery, celebrity likeness, or the IP of others. All these image classifiers are used to review the frames of every video generated, and this ensures that it adheres to the usage policies before it's shown to the user. They say that despite extensive research and testing, they cannot predict all the beneficial ways people will use the technology, nor all the ways people will abuse it. I think that's fair. 
and they believe that learning from real world use is a critical component of creating and releasing increasingly safe AI systems over time. So it's gonna need to be released, it's gonna have to be used by the public, we're all gonna have to generate millions of videos, and only then we'll be able to see what the true problems are. This is a Dalmatian walking across a building in Italy, and it's jumping from window to window. Here's an animation of an otter surfing, a vertical orientation of an iguana. This is a corgi vlogging. I don't know what the selfie stick is attached to. This is an orange and white tabby cat exploring a garden. This is an aerial view of Santorini during dusk or early night. Are these videos getting you excited? Because I sure am. So many possibilities. This is a construction site filled with workers, equipment, and heavy machinery. This prompt is a giant towering cloud in the shape of a man looms over the earth. The cloud man shoots lightning bolts down to earth. Here are two dogs running in a futuristic neon city at night. And this is the historic railway bridge in Scotland. If you're curious about how it works, first, Sora is a diffusion model, which generates a video by starting off with one that looks like static noise and then gradually transforms it by removing the noise over many steps. This is how a lot of the image generators work as well. Sora is capable of generating entire videos all at once or extending generated videos to make them longer. By giving the model foresight of many frames at a time, we've solved the challenging problem of making sure a subject stays the same even when it goes out of view temporarily. That's very interesting and something a lot of the other models struggle with as well. Sora uses a transformer architecture unlocking superior scaling performance, making it higher quality and high definition. They represent videos and images as collections of smaller units of data called patches. This is like a token in GPT large language models. By unifying how we represent data, we can train diffusion transformers on a wider range of visual data than was possible before spanning different durations, resolutions, and aspect ratios. Sora builds on past research in DALI and GPT models. It uses the recaptioning technique from DALI 3, which involves generating highly descriptive captions for the visual training data. As a result, the model is able to follow the user's text instructions in the generated video more faithfully. In addition to being able to generate a video solely from text instructions, the model is able to take an existing still image and generate a video from it, animating the image's contents with accuracy and attention to small detail. Okay, so we're not just gonna get text to video, we're also gonna get image to video. They can also take an existing video and extend it or fill in missing frames. Does this mean we can go even longer than one minute? This would be video to video. And finally, Sora serves as a foundation for models that can understand and simulate the real world, a capability we believe will be an important milestone for achieving AGI. AGI stands for Artificial General Intelligence. Sora is not released to the public yet, but I'm assuming it will be available soon, within the next couple months. As soon as the API is available, I'll be creating videos on how we can add that into our custom AI apps, if you want to join that course and get ahead of the game, click the link in the description below. And if you like this video, I got two more on the screen right now. I've chosen these two specifically for you. Pick one, give it a click, give it a watch. I'll see you in there later.